<laughs> yeah, dude. Punch it, a it, fucking it, baby. Let's go. Yeah, dude. What's well, like you ever seen a uh, Kabuli Khan? Like the way he does his, that dude's vocals, like he, the vocalist does his call outs. He's like, he's like, he's like, mix this room up like fucking guacamole. Let's go. <laughs> Love it, dude. Hey, welcome to the doc. My name is Fred Stewart, and uh, we're a bunch of idiots. Uh, he is for sure an idiot. I am <laughs> for sure an idiot as well. It's Marty Coward. It's Marty Coward. With us, as always, Charlie Hacker. It's boys to men. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see that background again. Yeah, dude. Wait, boys to men. What are you guys up to? You guys just hanging out? No. Yeah, this is what I do in my free time. Yeah. Yeah. What are they looking at? That, me. Oh, shit. They're looking at my boy pussy. <laughs> <laughs> They're getting a good... Like this guy right here, he looks like kind of like Diddy. <laughs> he looks like Wesley Snipes. He looks like he's about to Wesley Snipe that ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Oh, dude. So shit. stupid. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's arguably one of the best backgrounds we've had for you. Is yeah, that? yeah. Because <laughs> because every week I I look at we look at Martin and go like what should, what should the background be for Charles this week? It's always a surprise. And he did, he was like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great, dude. Yeah, I mean I've, I've chimed in on a few. Yeah, you have. I got like the Juggalo one. The Juggalo ones are the really good. We had the Homeless Camp one. Yeah. It's another good one. Yeah. Gas Chamber. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 With all the farts. With all your farts. <laughs> the yeah. fart chamber. Yeah. Dude, it must be crazy to fart in a gas chamber, dude. Like when you're just like being sentenced to death, dude. Just in a California prison. Just ready to go, dude. Oh, I, if I was on death row, dude, I would straight up hold it in for like <laughs> days straight. And then like right upon my expiration, I'd just be there like... And then I would just be like, oh, you know, I was dead. You wouldn't, they wouldn't even have to come pulse me. I would just be like. <laughs> and a big shit following. Yeah. <laughs> dude, uh, that'd, be, that'd be such a fucking power move, dude. dude yeah. Like, you're going to sense me to death, dude. I'm going to void all my bowels, dude, when I die. Yeah. Five like two weeks worth of just shit just coming out. Yeah, and I, I'm pretty sure my last meal would be Dave's hot chicken. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you you would choose for your last meal? Mm, maybe I don't know. So I didn't eat Dave's hot for the longest time, and I tried it uh -huh. a few like a month ago, and I've been addicted to that shit. <laughs> You've been rubbing that hot chicken all over your bussy. Uh, maybe not. That would be that would hurt, but uh, <laughs> definitely grab one of the pieces of bread they give you and wipe it, you know? Oh, gross. Because yeah. it comes out and it's all red <laughs> like the chicken. Oh, God. What's the spicy level you get on that saying? So, I don't, get the, I don't get the saying. I get the, the strippies. Um, <clears throat> I, honestly, I get the medium, <clears throat> but I've tried up to the reaper. I've tried... Hot Reaper. Honestly, like my ideal move would probably be like out of because it's like a three piece tender set. Mm -hmm. I would get like it, I think you have to get them all the same, but I would get two medium and then one like hot. Just Do you cause, like that uh, that Dave's sauce. Oh yeah, fuck yeah, dude! I would fucking. I would like I would put that on my my bussy. I would use that as bus lube. <laughs> would that bus be your lube. ideal death row last meal? Be some Dave's hot chicken? Uh maybe. I don't know. Like I would maybe want Fire on the Mountain oh, one yeah. last time. Yeah. I mean Fire on the Mountain's way better, but it's different. It's like that's like wingies. Yeah, yeah. You know, wingies mm -hmm. and like a fire on the mountain like full meal, you know, like with the the plate of the frisbee of fries and then the deep fried arias <laughs> shit's fucking fire on the mountain yeah. and then uh i don't know like portland bro we got a lot of good food here yeah like yes. a ton like when me and marty first moved here dude we looked fucking like we looked like these boys right here <laughs> <laughs> we were skinny looked good in white there's some photos you know, we were tan. We were way tanner. Our bulges were much bigger. <laughs> yeah, and then we seen all this port is hidden. This, yeah, this P <laughs> PDX food, and we we're like, damn, bro. Pre fupas. Yeah, yeah. And now it's just like 
have gone to hell. Like <laughs> as far as our uh, fucking looks. You know. What would your death row last meal be, Fred? Oh man, uh, I don't know. I'd probably definitely get some hot wings. I'd probably get them as hot as humanly possible. Follow it up with a um, half gallon of chocolate milk, and then a, oh. a pint of ice cream of some kind, and then um, probably baking soda and vinegar. Yeah, to just, throw it all up. Uh, just, just uh, I, I, w- I would pack it in like you know, like when crackheads when they swallow swallow drugs, they put it in like the little plastic bags mm-hmm. i would just do that that way and i would eat it stealthily and then that way <laughs> when I, I start to just like <laughs> just like starts foaming out dude i start vomiting everywhere on everybody as i'm just bursting into flames and it's like the hottest bio ever. <laughs> yeah it's just like, like my eyes, my eyes. <laughs> like you're <laughs> if i'm going to hell i'm ringing hell here bitches <laughs> i'd probably get like a twinkie cake Oh, dude! Yeah. A Twinkie cake, <laughs> just kidding. like a cake made out of Twinkie, just a big tower of Twinkies. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I don't even like Twinkies. I just said that because, dude. Well, what would you get? Lie, dude. What would I get? Yeah, for real. Legit, probably like a casserole dish size of green chili enchiladas on one side and yeah. red chili enchiladas on the other. That sounds good. <laughs> that's, that's I, so vibe, I almost dude. thought of uh, chili quilas, but mm. it, it's like got to be like my mom's. Like you I know would what I mean? eat yeah. the whole, I, like if it was my last meal and I had a casserole dish of that, I would try to eat the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, you're yeah. gonna die. And <laughs> if he had a casserole uh, dish of it any other time, he would try to eat the whole <laughs> thing. I, actually, I think my last meal would probably be a, a whole p- plate of live bees because I'm allergic <laughs> to bees. bees. Oh yeah, yeah. And they're not taking me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going out like that. No, nah. you know like I said, I was a... I was gonna go out like Pablo Escobar on the rooftop. We should do for a for a fucking doc bit is just bring in some live bees, just have them sting Fred and get him like as close to like death as possible to <laughs> hit him with that EpiPen, bro. I believe I am allergic <laughs> to bees as well. That's a good idea, dude. I, I don't see any downside to that. <laughs> what, what was off that movie where he's like the flatliners or whatever? Oh, yeah. He, he flatlines death with bees. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's awesome, dude. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know, Marty. If, well, if we're going to do that, then I'm clearly going to have to bring in a bunch of cockroaches. We're going to have to go full like fear factor on you. Build a little shelf around your head, dude. Yeah. Just yeah. dump like a, like a half a bucket worth. Yeah. And then I'll have uh, I'll have like a little fucking like turkey baster full of the babies, and I'll squeeze them in his ears. <laughs> oh, so we know Marty I does not like that. that. <laughs> I know Marty's I know Marty's just, deepest you, darkest fear. You just hear him like, oh, that's the worst. I had that. Happen you're too. just crawling around, just yeah. munching on shit. Just didn't your you, fucking ears, dude? Didn't you sleep for like two years with earplugs in? Earplugs. I was, for the first week or so, I slept with pantyhose over my head. Nice. Because I woke up to a cockroach crawling in my ear. Like, oh, oh it was the worst. Give me like, the worst. chills, dude. I don't like it. <laughs> it was terrible. Just <laughs> think, terrible. he was probably on his way out. Oh, dude. He probably was living in your head. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. New Bro, fear. He was a unlocked. fat cockroach, actually. P H A T. P-H-A-T. Fat yeah. cockroach. He was thick. He was a thick boy. Dude, I had it one time, dude, because I'm, I'm also deathly afraid of spiders. And yeah. I woke up one night to, like, what I thought was my hair in my face. So I just went to, like, swat it, and then it moved. And I <laughs> grabbed it, and it was a fucking spider about, I don't know, half dollar sized, just in my hand. And it just fucking <laughs> just threw it across the room. Never found it. <laughs> fucking horrifying, my, dude. And not sleep at all. My stepdad one time woke up. He like did kind of the same thing, and then he turned the light on, and it was a fucking scorpion. God mm. damn! Yeah, that's fucking. Gangster. That's a problem they don't have up here. No, dude. Yeah. Do you know what Charles is scared of? What? <coughs> turtles. Scared of turtles? Uh, not necessarily. Like <laughs> I remember f- one time I chased him with a turtle <laughs> for so long. Well, I didn't know if it was a snapping turtle. Uh, <laughs> it was. I also got salmonella one time from a turtle. Oh, no, dude. And that shit sucked. How was that? Shitty. So, so, so Quite literally. <laughs> so you're saying a bit for the doc is that I bring in a full-size live alligator snapping turtle and just release it into the podcast room? That would yeah, be yeah. fine. I think it would be cool. I think it would be cool if we had a tortoise that just lived in here. Yeah. That would be cool. Like a big tortoise. I think that would be cool. Maybe sometimes we sit on his back and <laughs> you see me just like just kind of like 
<laughs> Slowly moving. One of my uh, one of my buddies, uh, the guy who actually recorded my band's old album, when we went over to his house for the first time to like start tracking guitars and stuff, sit on his couch, petting his cat, having a good time, and I felt something like running into my foot, and I looked down. He had a little fucking little, little turtle that just would roam the house, just would walk around, that's just cool getting into shit. And I'm like, that's awesome. That is awesome. In in Wilsonville, they have uh, the pet store there, and they have two big tortoises that just walk around the store. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Yeah, it's so tight. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, but probably with like a mountain lion. <laughs> That'd be tight. Yeah, you know, right. put, put give it some like sedatives, dude, and just get into like a fucking K hole, dude. So it's just def- like dependent on people. You know, just want <laughs> just wants to ride the fucking. I think you know, chase the dragon again. So it's just super nice. I would have uh, some alligators. Alligators would be cool, dude. Yeah. A little alligator. Like some alligators. 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 I'd, I'd have a little moat. Like it's like one of my biggest goals in life is to have be successful, rich, and be able to have a moat. Dude, you don't really have to I mean you don't have to be rich to have a moat. You just gotta <laughs> yeah, you just, you just gotta have at least a trailer and a fucking shovel, dude. I feel like you're halfway there, time. you're half Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> you got the digging skills plus one. You know? <laughs> yeah, dude, you could just, oh, uh, dude, like honestly, man, like if you just if you just like live in the woods and with a trailer, dude, and you just like get a bo- rent a bobcat for a day, dude, yeah, just, just or a backhoe, just start fucking digging trenches, dude. Yeah, but my apartment, what are the cops gonna do? I live in an apartment though. They're not gonna allow that shit. Well, they're gonna have to figure it out, dude. Just tell me you're following your dream. I no, I want to mow and I want a drawbridge. <laughs> it's just, it's just like, just like, in, like the like a score of music, like dun 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 dun, dun and like the the drawbridge comes down as a tent scene, and then just a double wide trailer sitting in the woods. Yeah, no, I want it to be uh, the song from uh, Wizard of Oz, the oh, ee, oh, oh, and then you get to the other side, and they just have like a whole. Essentially, kind of like a castle, yeah. <laughs> just it's just cardboard on the sides of the trailer. <laughs> yeah, like a castle. <laughs> we so, can make it happen. So I thought of something to talk about. Oh, okay. <laughs> something uh, this morning when I was driving Grubhub. Did you guys ever uh, download porn off of LimeWire when you were younger? Uh, I did not personally, but I had friends with computers that did, and we would watch it. Randy. No, no. Oh, yeah, Randy, but also my buddy Alex. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Fred? <laughs> no, dude. You might be... Damn. Yeah. I thought I was going to bring this topic up and you guys were going to be like, oh, yeah. But no. I forget Fred's younger. Yeah, dude. You guys are, you guys are he, fucking old he, men, he dude. Was fapping. He, he was... By the time he was busting, he was busting onto Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> he had sights. <laughs> he had sights, dude. Yeah. So, okay. So, let me paint a picture for you, Fred. Okay. Um... Very wet, damp picture. Yeah, so <laughs> back in the day, did you ever use LimeWire for anything? No. No? Okay, so um, back in the day, you would like download music and shit yeah. uh, off LimeWire. Mm-hmm. It was free. It was illegal. Full but, of viruses, though. Full of viruses, but like, I don't know. At the time, like, especially like the time period I'm thinking, mm-hmm. it really like... I wasn't thinking about that. Like, it didn't even really occur to me, like, virus. I was like, oh, yeah, that's, like, a thing, I guess. How can a fucking computer get a virus, you know? Yeah. It's not like a person. But anyway, it was like, you would, like, type in something. Like, you'd be trying to look for porno, and it would be, like, it was just names. It wasn't, like, thumbnails and shit, you know? Like, you see, like, nowadays you can see a thumbnail. Yeah. Yeah. But it was just names, titles of porns, right? And so you would click it, and then you would download it, and then it would take like an hour and a half to download. <laughs> but then you had that porno on your computer. Yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, so I would download porno, and so it was always just based off of what the title said. Yeah, yeah. So it could be like MILFs getting tit fucked. You don't know what they look like, you know? And then it was like... Just a gamble. Yeah, and the first time you click on it, and you're like, oh, okay. You know? And one time, <clears throat> I downloaded this one porn, and it was like something anal. <laughs> and then when I clicked on it, it was <laughs> a guy who kind of looked like... 
<laughs> I don't know. Because he pulled his mask off later, but he had like this. <laughs> How long did you watch it? Anyway, so I, I, I just skipped. He's avoiding through. the question. I dude. Just, okay, wait, wait. Yeah. Okay, I, I I watched the beginning of it and then I skimmed through to the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, we well, gotta at least get the plot. But anyway, so it was a man <laughs> with a pig mask on, like those latex pig masks. Uh -huh. He had the pig mask on, and then he was on all fours. And he had like a dildo up his butt and he pulls it out <laughs> and then he just lets out this like fart. But I still to this day, I have the fart like burned into my memory. <laughs> and, <it's, laughs> and it sounded like this. It was, <laughs> it was like. <laughs> <laughs> and to this day i'm like i don't know at, at that m moment in my life i was like damn that was the first time i realized people were like kind of fucked like you know what i mean like where i realized like man people are like in this shit and then i i, I scrolled further to the end when he pulls his pig mask off and he looked kind of like btk <laughs> <laughs> but he had that beat dude it might look. have been dennis raider bro you just don't maybe know. yeah yeah <laughs> and i'm like geez like that was the first because he kind of had some like other like l black latex shit on his body like some sort of outfit i don't know i'm yeah. just trying to recall but that was the first <laughs> time i remember having to be like okay i gotta like Get this off my computer! Like I, sh <laughs> I shouldn't have this. Imagine what, what would your dad say if he just randomly opened that? I believe it was on my mom's computer. Oh shit! So that was before I lived in Farmington. So like, this was Las Vegas, Vegas era. So I mean, I was this, po this post black portfolio. Uh, this is probably right around the time. Oh, okay. Um, because yeah, like there was only certain avenues for like jerking off, like. For finding porn at the time, yeah, yeah, certain avenues were probably Fremont and the Strip, right? and I believe it was my stepdad that told me about like LimeWire, and he's all, because he would use it to download music, probably porn, but yeah, I realized you could download porn on it, <laughs> but I left, I had like a certain folder where I kept them all, and I remember having to delete like that one, being like, man, if they just randomly found that they would be fu <laughs> i don't even i there's no way you can even explain like fucking talk your way out of that yeah yeah at least if it's just like fucking big titty porn star getting fucked you're you're kind of like yeah i mean I like that you know what's the, what's <laughs> but the most pig fucked fucker. porn that you've watched and you just sat there and watched because it was like fucked uh, uh so that was like the first one and i just yeah um but Later on, <laughs> dude, dude, I learned about a website. We should just change this podcast name to Charles's Confessions. <laughs> this is my confession. I feel like I'm in an Usher video right now. Episode. This oh, is my the title of this episode. Yeah, this Charles's is my confession. confession. You said, oh, no, wanna, Benny. My confessions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So Brandon told us about that e fucked website. Yeah, and. Here and there, I still like. Are you familiar with e -fuck? I don't think so. I, we I, feel like we've talked, I feel like we talked about it, but I don't remember. It's a fucking porn website and it's out of like Europe somewhere. Yeah. And they. It's pretty funny because so it's just like porn bloopers and like crazy shit. Like you, I could see that like fucking pig fart guy, that fart pig. <laughs> fart pig. <laughs> that fart pig uh, being on there. <laughs> Um, but what is funny about it is they'll like take it and they'll like edit it and add all these like actual like movie uh samples they, they, and like, shit. Meme it and shit. Yeah, so they make it all like funny too. But it's some of it's like way out of out fucking like crazy shit. <laughs> like shit like you'll watch and you'll be like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> but pretty much anything from there is in that category of like Crazy porn shit. I yeah. almost want to 
look up some, and but we'd have to like blur the entire screen. Yeah, yeah, dude. I'll we'll make it. that a whole bit, and we'll yeah. fucking we'll find ones and maybe pre because there's shit on there that's gnarly. <laughs> Where you'll be like, you'll be like, fuck, man, like, <laughs> like you feel dirty, like you need to take a shower. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because like one of the like videos they put out probably quarterly, because they only update it every like six months, and they put like seven or eight videos. When's the last time you were on this website? <sighs> Probably like over a year ago. Oh, okay. It's actually probably time to to look. <laughs> um, but they always have one that's like shit porn stars say, and it's just like I don't know. I don't even know. Like, how do you? How do they even find this shit? Like, like be fucking, uh, like scrolling porns to just find a fucking just a the, the, the ra- outrageous shit in porn. Yeah. But I'm trying to think of one in particular. Like, there's so many. I remember one time me and Brandon were watching it. I used to watch it with Brandon. Yeah. <laughs> and it was a guy. It was like this big, tough, like, almost like, uh, who's the dude um, in 21 Jump Street? You're going to uh, be more specific than that. Not Jonah Hill, but his partner. Are you talking about Magic Mike? That guy, Channing, yeah, Channing Tatum. Channing Tatum. Tatum. Yeah, he looked kind of like Channing Tatum, but he was wearing like a dress with a tutu. <laughs> yeah, and he had like one of those wall dildos, like one of those big old fuckers, almost like Sarah in Palin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's in a hotel room and he's sucking it, like, and then his girlfriend walks in. But, like, he has, like, headphones on or something. <laughs> and then she's like, oh, my God. And then, like, walks out. I'm like, oh, my God. Well, that's one off the top I can think <laughs> you're of. like, Sandra, come back. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never owned a dildo or sucked a dildo. <laughs> Dude. Like I said, probably the gayest thing I've ever done in my life was putting the Sharpie in my butthole. <laughs> Super dangerous, dude. Can't even do that. If it's not flared, it doesn't go up there, dude. If it's not what? If it's not flared, it doesn't go up there. What does that mean? do have a flared base. Don't put it up your butt. Flared? It's gonna yeah, go up like your it, butt it, it's like it's it's wider at the base than it is up top. Uh, Flares I, out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, fuck, same kind of the same era. Like I didn't know that. I didn't even know that till now. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you know, dude. I mean, I put it up there. Like I said, I put it up there enough, and it hurt, and I was like, "Fuck, this is not fun." <laughs> and then. I tried to pull it out because I put it in backwards, and then when I pulled it out, I pulled the cap off, <laughs> <laughs> and then I had to go and grab it. Yeah. I had to go and grab it by like the actual writing the side felt of it, tip. by the felt tip, and I pulled it out by the felt tip, and then just I, uh, that's another thing that'll never leave my my mind either is pulling it out and then hearing it hit the bathroom floor. <laughs> 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 and then it hit the ground, and then, like, you know, one side was, you know. And then ink. you had black all over your head. And then I had, I had black right here on my fingers for days because it was a Sharpie. And I, I was just there reminding me, like, man. <laughs> I'd look at it and be like, man. Did you did you feel disgusted with yourself after that one? Uh, uh Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I felt pretty, pretty... Pretty like a dirty dog. Yeah, like a dirty dog. But around that same time too, like at Hermosa, uh, I rented a camera, and it was for some class we were in. Mm-hmm. And I never brought it, or no, I did bring it back. Okay, so I brought it back months later because they asked about it. But what you know what I did is I took, I went and grabbed fucking the camera and took pictures of my butthole with it. <laughs> a school camera? Yeah, and then I turned why? it back in. I don't know. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Sometimes you don't you know why you delete the photos do... before no. you turn it back in? <laughs> no. That's, you're fucking out of your mind. I bet you some teacher went to jail for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, 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 they were like, yeah, principal here, we're just gonna go and check some of these cameras, make sure they're up to tip. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, it's uh, Charles. It's just a fully bearded teenager. I think it was because I had never got a good look at my asshole. (laughs) And I wanted to see it. 
You wanted to see it. I mean, you can do the whole like mirror fucking look back thing, but that's different. Like, I wanted to see like a good shot. And like, I think there was some, because it was like an older digital camera. I think there was some <laughs> mode you could where it gave you like the five seconds or whatever. Yeah. And I think I just put it there. And you squatted over and, then and I squat- spread the cheeks? Uh, yeah, and I just squatted and spread. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> this was me when I was young, too. <laughs> That's so funny, dude. See, I feel like I got a lot of that shit out of my system young. I, I feel like like I never had that shit in my system. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just didn't. <laughs> but yeah. at, honestly, Marty, that's the thing is here, probably around your 40s, you're going to be like, you're going to just be sitting there on the toilet. Someone maybe randomly had like a Sharpie in their pocket and it fell on the ground. You're going to be like, and it's going to pop in your head. <laughs> and you might be like, I could just do this right now. No one would ever know. <laughs> See, a lot of things too, like, like, so my brother started listening to this podcast, right? Yeah. And he's at, he's actually into it. He thinks it's funny. A lot of it's funny. What's up, Evan? What up, buddy? Hi. <laughs> but um, a lot of the things I do, like when I jerked off in the back of the van mm-hmm. and when I jerked off driving, yeah, are things I heard about from my friends that had done similar things. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, I could do that. My friend Teddy, mm-hmm. growing up in New Mexico or in Nevada, he told me a, a tale about how he was laying down in the back of his van while his family was on a family road trip, and he jerked off. And so I was, a month later, I was on a road trip. With all the way to, Yeah, and I can tell you exactly where we were. We were in between <laughs> Gallup and Farmington. <laughs> <laughs> nice. On the way from Vegas. And, you know, that, that last stretch, you know, it's very boring, very long. All the kids are asleep. That highway is called Highway 666. And oh, it's supposedly shit. like the Skinwalker Highway, too. Yeah. Let's just go. Just, Let's go on a trip. The skin stroker highway. You <laughs> yeah, me. yeah, dude. Skin fucking. But anyway, you you grabbed one off while you were in the back of your family van as a kid, and you know I just learned that. And to me, the fact that someone else had done it was made it okay. Like Eric's talking about jerking off while driving. Yeah, it happened to happen like <laughs> probably a couple months after he said that, and I was I had a ten minute drive. Down a ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, Damn, dude. Yeah, ten minute drive. So you were prime before you got in the car, then. Well, it. I think it occurred to me as because I was at a Safeway, and we I had it in, naturally in Tillamook, mm-hmm. and we ended up dri- or I ended up driving to <laughs> Oceanside, mm-hmm. which is about ten minutes, and I was like, if for some reason I was like I could jerk off, and it's it's just like a narrow highway road <laughs> and i could knock one out in that 10 minutes <laughs> dude just and I, and it was like a timer too so like i'm driving and i'm like edging kind of like i'm like yeah i can enjoy this but then we i start getting like fucking 8 minutes in like 2 miles i could see the signs it's like 2 miles to oceanside and so <laughs> I'm like getting closer. I'm like, okay, I gotta, I gotta really start thinking about it. <laughs> and I literally, like, as I was pulling up to the house, I remember busting like right at that time. Like, oh, here we are. Oh. <laughs> I wish that that house had a ring camera. <laughs> 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 Did you like? <laughs> you see like the lights fucking like flickering, like, <laughs> like getting fucking exercise. <laughs> yeah, dude. And my <laughs> and my siblings were near for that one too because they were in that house we were staying at. Dude, just being like an oceanside PD and just be like, "What happened?" It's like head on collision, fatal. It's like, damn. It's like just car just went in the other lane. It's like, do you know what happened? It's like, well, it appears that he was ch- <laughs> ch- choking himself with a belt, jerking himself off, and just drifted in the other lane. <laughs> the best would be if you got the belt and you like rigged it to your fucking. 
the electric window. So you're like, <laughs> and then your window breaks, like the electrical component. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be the. You're I, having to like stand up and like drive to not die. Because yeah. when you die, if you die with a boner, the boner stays. So imagine like the the fucking. Does ambi- it really? Is that a real thing? I mean, on clerks, it is. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, but I, that'd be awesome dude like you're just found dead like in a car accident and then they just pull up on the jaws of life and they're all and you're just like, <laughs> <laughs> the jaws yeah. of life accidentally snip you yeah dude, dude your shirt's like halfway off dude just <laughs> <laughs> just tucked up against the fucking top of your car <laughs> and then uh the newspaper says man with Absolute hog found. <laughs> yeah. Absolute Dead. legend dies on Highway 20. Yeah. On his way to Oceanside. Yeah. Just like, man, what a hero, dude. Yeah. I'd be stoked. Oh, uh, that's that's the shit. Um, that's got to be the worst way to be found dead, right? Uh, how, 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 I think there's worse. Marty, is have, have we ever inspired you to do things like that? Uh, jerk off while driving? Just anything. Like, you, we've told you about different, like, deviant things we've done like that. Um, I don't know. I've never done anything, like, crazy, like, anything, like, I don't know. I don't consider that really crazy, but, like. Oh, dude, that's. Uh, I've never done it. I've only ever done <laughs> Shit, stuff with, like, partners while I was driving. Yeah. So. But would you be against it? Mm, no. If yeah. it was, like. I wouldn't do it in the city. Say you had to drive from here to Florida. Florida? Florida? Uh, and you, you you have to drive it in 14-hour sessions. Intervals. Intervals. And then you get to sleep at a truck stop. <laughs> I don't know. Dude, or if, at a if I'm driving stop. from Oregon to Florida, dude, you better bet your ass and bust it in every state, dude. <laughs> <laughs> By the time I get to fucking like Montana, dude, I'm gonna be fucking dry. That is one thing Tabs I empty. did. I did like to do when I was younger is like when I would travel, I would like to jerk off in in random places like camping yeah. and stuff, you know, yeah. or like like oh I jerked off here. Oh, I like it was like a, <laughs> like it was a like dog getting like a marking metal. a scent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was one thing that I did. <laughs> they call him Fap Stanley. <laughs> 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 yeah, I know. One of my goals is to bust in every state. <laughs> And I'm pretty good too. Like you know, I mean, it just happens by nature. You got a pretty high score. Instead of Johnny Appleseed, you're Johnny Spread Your Seed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. When when you were on tour on the Warp Tour, did you jerk off in your bunk a lot? Yeah, almost every night. <laughs> <laughs> almost nightly. It helped me fall asleep. <laughs> so I mean, you just that's awesome. You just wank one out. Just think, I've wanked. Who who was the bunk next to you? Uh, directly to the right, yeah. which would be like across like, not a hallway, but like an aisle, an aisle. Yeah. Uh, I believe it was ABBA. Oh, okay. So it was ABBA next to me. <laughs> and then above me was. I thought it would be Scotty. You'd just be like, here, ha ha, Charles, pass the loop. Scotty <laughs> was near there, but then there was Chase Pin Greasy. Oh, he was definitely and fapping. he was fapping. He would fap with porn with the volume up. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that's a fucking power move, dude. Yeah, so Honestly. he didn't care. So, so that goes back to the whole thing. Like my friends influenced me. I'm like, he's over there fucking cranking for the whole fucking bus to hear. I can crank over here quietly in the bank. Bro, I would never be able to do that. Just like, just loud for everybody to hear. Yeah, but would you? That would kill my boner. But would you knock one out quietly? <laughs> Possibly. If you knew, like, if say we were on a tour and it was all us knuckleheads, and you knew they were fapping, you know, I was there. I was. Fapping. I don't think I could. I don't know. Uh, I would, I would be. I would be a gentleman, dude. I'd use it in the venue bathroom, dude. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. these are not like the venue bathrooms you're thinking of. These are like <laughs> these are like porta potties. That's fun. Ooh. Oof, that's that's more Oof. gnarly. See, the thing is, is you're on a tour bus. Dude. You have a bunk, so you have a curtain. You know, like it's pretty discreet. And like, tell me in a on a fucking sixty day tour, you're not gonna jack off once. No, I, I mean I'm sure I would. 
just jack off in in the bunk, you know. Even pull up. I mean, now it wasn't like nowadays where you have your phone like you do. But I mean, yeah, you just pull up a little pH, fucking. <laughs> just knock one out real fact quick. In fact, you get a your like little pH dude. Pornhub. Yeah, get, <laughs> let me get a little. Let me get a. Let me get a pH, please, on, on ice. So, has yeah. your brother ever told you anything? Uh, like, like I can't believe you you fucking did that. You're gross. Or like, kind of, because you tell a lot of stories on here of like <laughs> Charlie's confessions. We should have a once a week Charlie's confessions at least. Where, yeah, like, we'll we'll make it a new segment each week. Be like Charlie's everything confess this week. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I feel like I'm running out of things to confess. Like that one with the sharpie was deeply lodged in my head. <laughs> Well, it's deeply deep lodged, lodged in your in fucking your asshole. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. Yeah. yeah. Um, like, I almost forgot about that one. Um, but I really can't really think of too many more things where. Well, at the you, time. Uh, well, save it till next week. If, at if the time <laughs> of, like, yeah. that happening, I was not going to tell you guys that shit. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you no. Know, imagine if I would have said that. You guys wouldn't even have been my friends anymore. <laughs> Times are different now, you Randy know. Randy would have probably. Yeah, he he might have been like, "Me too, man." <laughs> but uh, I, yeah, yeah. It, my brother, he he just because that was on all my friends are dicks when we brought up the jacking off in the in the family van in the family van yeah. story. Um. And he just texts me. He's like, bro. And I'm like, bro, what? He's like, in the van. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah. It's like, it wasn't like you were, like, conscious, like, looking at me. <laughs> but he's also a little fucking uh, Gen Zer. He doesn't understand. Like, it wasn't like we could fucking put on, like, an Oculus headset and jerk off in VR. Dude, <laughs> VR porn's crazy. It is, it crazy. is crazy. But... Yeah. That was that was such a far fetched idea back then. Like no way. I can't do VR porn. It's a little, <clears throat> it's a little too much for me. Yeah, dude. Like it's way too immersive. Yeah. But and it's just like, I don't know. I mean, I've I've tried it before because like on the all my, there's an all my friends are dicks episodes where we put Eric <laughs> in VR, <laughs> uh, watching gay porn on mushrooms. <laughs> uh, which was a pretty fucking awesome bit still to this day. Yeah. One of our best. <laughs> One of our best. But yeah. uh that same that same headset, you know, I've I dabbled a little bit of VR porn. Yeah. But it was just always <laughs> like yeah. it was always just like too much. Like like it would be cool at first, but then after you come you're just like You feel like a monster. I don't <laughs> I got like this fucking thing on my head, like this is just too much. It's too much. Just trying not to make eye contact. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> and then every time you, you see fucking, that, you're like, oh, you man. You like that? I'm just like, I don't, I, you're, you're, listen, you're, you seem really nice, but <laughs> I don't think, I don't think I really want this to happen anymore. Yeah, I'm not really super into it now. And then you You've been to, such a naughty boy. Just like, no, I've been pretty good, I think. I don't think, I don't think so. I'm going to take this off now. Then you have to like <laughs> wash your hands, but you can't see. So you have to like put your head up and look through the little <laughs> nose hole. You're like, yeah. <laughs> why didn't you just keep one hand like clean? Your clean hand. Bro, I, sh I shoot ropes. <laughs> I don't know. You, you seem like you're... <laughs> I'm gonna isolate that audio, dude. Let's go to the soundboard, you bro. I shoot ropes. You seem like, you seem like a novice uh, jor. Uh, I'm like a I'm damn not pro. novice. I'm a def. I'm like a pro style. I think you're probably more pro than me for sure. Yeah, right? dude. Uh, you're definitely the pro when it comes. The master. It comes to coming. I don't know, dude. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I'm pretty sure I'm S tier and jacking off, dude. <laughs> you know, is S tier the highest? Yeah, dude. I can't even think of any like crazy places. I just I'm. He jacked off on a plane. Pretty vanilla. No, I never on a plane. Yes. <clears throat> no. Have you jacked off on a plane? Yes. Friend? Yeah, it's dope. Yeah, it's awesome. It's sexy. You're in the air, especially if you have a hot stew. Yeah, dude. <laughs> hot stew. <laughs> it's always got a hot stew. Yeah, dude. Just fucking. It's coming out both ends, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. That reminds me. I shit my pants the other day. Fuck no yeah! Way. 
a Good little job, it, it wasn't a, it was just a little bit it was more of a shart but I, t- I would say it's more than a shart because i got sick as fuck like i thought i had food poisoning <laughs> i had a stomach bug uh for sure or something but it was the sickest i ever been all at one time like uh it was weird random would just hit me i got i was like just getting nauseous um and then I ended up having a case of the Rhea, you know? Yeah. And then later I was like laying in bed and I couldn't go to sleep. I was just feeling so nauseous and uh, I went to go throw up and then I threw up. And as I was throwing up, it came out the other end too. And I was like, oh no. Did you keep the underwear? Uh, I washed them. Oh, but so you did keep them? Yeah, I kept them. Well, yeah. Have you, are you wearing them right now? No. Did it leave a little stainer? It left a little bit. <laughs> but uh, it was... Um, Like, and then I spent the rest of the night, I had to go get my trash can from my room and then go sit on the toilet while I was throwing up. That's how sick I was. It was the worst. I'm stoked. I'm glad. Because you were always... Hey, congratulations, man. You were always like, (laughs) I never shit my pants. I'm never going to shit my pants. I didn't say I was never going to. No, you did. I said if I ever did, I would Why didn't you you send us a picture of the shat pants? Because I was... Like dying, bro. I was literally like <laughs> yeah, in the bathroom, just sweating buckets, just like oh, you I was, felt like death. You could have sent the doc and your bandmates a little fucking gift. <laughs> Eric sent us a picture of his squirt. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I don't. Yeah, but that's dope. I'm glad. I told you it was gonna happen because you didn't believe me. You were like, I'm never gonna do it. I didn't. I never said I was never gonna do it. I just said I never had previously, which is still true to this day. That was the first time that I can remember shitting myself. Yeah. No. Well, it was man. terrible. Because you're in your 30s now. Nice. Thanks. I told you. Thanks, you know, your bowels. Your bowels start getting a little looser. <laughs> you know, your conio isn't so tight anymore. Yeah, probably probably lasted so long because I never put a sharpie in my butt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's like breaking the seal, you know. Yeah, like maybe that's Eric's. Like he won't tell us, but maybe that's why he shits himself all the time. Is because he's gaped. <laughs> <laughs> he's perma gaped. Perma gaped. It's crazy. Dude. <laughs> Is that, a, is that a badge he gets, dude? <laughs> is, that, is that a thing he gets on his license? Uh, permagaped. Officer, please. I'm permagaped. I'm <laughs> like, oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't know. You can always tell someone on a windy day because it'll just hear. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude, just catch, catches it just right, dude. Starts whistling, dude. <laughs> it's like, oh, shit, dude. Oh man, I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised, Marty, because Marty's the only person I know. Well, not the only person I know, but Marty isn't m- more adventurous with his JOing. Uh, yeah, dude. Because of it, I, I've heard about his fuck machine or his f- mm-hmm. former fuck machine. It's probably out of commission now that he's a married man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I so here's the thing: is like. I've tried uh, certain different things, and it was never like I. It's not a like, it wasn't like a fuck machine. It was just a little device, and it wasn't even as cool as like Troy's yeah. device, you know. <laughs> and that's the thing <laughs> is I I had it, and I maybe used it like three or four times because it's just over. It's just too much for me. Just like the fucking VR porn. One time I used it well on VR. Yeah, that was. Way too much. <laughs> that was a lot, and so it's just like, it's just like almost overstimulation, and I just don't like it. So it kind of gets in your head a little bit. So so yeah, and it's like, uh, I had that thing, and I I don't know. I think uh, I had it during my last relationship. Whenever uh, me and my ex didn't really do much. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> so anyway, I bought that, and then I used it maybe three or four times, and I was like. So, I mean, uh, you can have it if you want. It's still there. <laughs> oh, I don't want it. <laughs> Buy a new insert for it. <laughs> yeah, probably, yeah. It's all fucking... It's like when you fucking... Uh, when like it gets a little too icy on the inside, dude. It's all yeah, just yeah. crunchy, dude. Like, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I remember one time. So, the first time, like, fleshlights first started coming around uh-huh. kind of thing. And it was right around the time I became an adult. And I was like... I'm going to get one. Yeah. And so I ordered a flashlight, right? I still remember the porn star was Jenna Hayes. So it was Jenna Hayes' nice. flashlight. 
And uh, I got it and I showed Charles and he was like, bro, let me use it. Let me, <laughs> <laughs> let me take it out for a test drive. A testy, I swear dude. to God. And I was like, no, that's disgusting. He's like, I'll wash it, bro. It's not even weird. It's like you, you've you never had sex with a girl that's had sex with another dude. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to plead his that case. Was some <laughs> decent logic there. <laughs> it's certainly logic. I don't know about decent logic, dude. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. Yeah, dude. dude well, because I knew I would never have one. That's the whole thing. I always think about the guy. We talk about flesh. I think about that one dude who makes those like comedy ones. He's like, this oh, one yeah. right here is a grail. That's the best. This one's a grail. And it's like it's like the caterpillar from like Bugs Life, dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bro, like, that, the, that here, dude actually makes some good quality yeah. shit. Here is the Monsters Eat Scream or the Monsters Eat, Monsters Eat Cream Canister, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You're 23, 19 yourself all up in this bitch. Have you ever bitch. seen that guy? No. Oh, oh, I got to show you. So, so, so funny. Real quick, I'm just going to play this audio, but it's this is Troy's fuck machine. Uh, it looks kind of like a Bluetooth, <laughs> like a Bluetooth fucking like speaker. Do you want to? I mean, I, I can connect to the fucking. Send it to Fred. Yeah. All right, I'll send it to Fred. Okay. But Troy's is pretty cool and. His is cool. If if you, <laughs> that that one's expensive. Does it like? Does it have like a crazy like Asian accent when it? Oh does? yes, yes. <laughs> like, yeah, because because like all those really shitty Bluetooth <clears throat> ones were like the Bluetooth device is connected. Love it, dude. So Troy lives out by himself in the woods. I imagine one day someone's gonna find Troy and he's gonna have like some sort of fuck machine, like, on him, and. And it's gonna be like maybe even like a one that like is like a dildo or something. It's gonna just be fucking his ass to death. Yeah. <laughs> I think we talked about that yeah, where, yeah, yeah. where it was gonna be like the the, the arms they used for like building cars. <laughs> yeah. Just hold them up and just like, <laughs> just like, <laughs> just some horrified medic coming in and being like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> we'll have like like that picture Charles has in his background, but it's just robots behind him. <laughs> yeah, dude, just, he's gonna be in VR, just, <laughs> just dangling to get him from both ends dude just, <laughs> just body fucking just <laughs> limp well that's what we said about eric is that he is gonna like if he got an oculus he would probably just live in it he would live in vr porn land all right here we go <laughs> what's the inside look like see. <laughs> okay dude that's that that's insane, dude. <laughs> that, yeah, I can see why you don't want to show that. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's really funny, dude. Play it again. Is that a mouth? <laughs> no. <laughs> that, that's definitely a mouth. Is that a mouth? Yeah, it's, it's a, a blow I think it's a pussy. It does look like a mouth, dude. Oh, it looks like a. Mouth. Put it on the manic cam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, press play. Oh shit! Hold on. Let me fucking hold on. Oh shit! Come on. Here we go. Manic cam. <laughs> As you can see, That's even it better. Is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he's like so proud to show it, dude. He's just like, he's like, look, he's like, look at this thing. He had that up in his basement. Look at this thing. Isn't that cool? You get there and he's like, Charles, Charles, come here, come here. Come here. It's like the first thing he shows. Yeah, he's so well, excited, dude. He had it just chilling there. And then he had like uh, other sleeves for it there. Like, <laughs> like that I think was the pussy sleeve, but then I think he had a butthole sleeve. Nice. So Troy just has this attic upstairs and it's just like, it's everything you would expect Troy's attic to be. <laughs> <laughs> so it's full of just. Just sex toys sex and cigarettes. Sex yeah. toys and cigarettes, yeah. yeah. We, got, we got to get Troy on the podcast. Yeah, dude. We actually we were talking about it. Yeah. Well, we have a couple of them that just never came out because this fool right here, for all our video listeners, never edited it. Well, I have one fully done. Why didn't you just put it out? I don't know. Should we just put it out? Yeah. We can. Marty's Marty loves to edge content. Yeah, dude. Whether it's albums, podcasts, <laughs> you know, it's got to be the right time. <laughs> he wants to bust hard. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's fucking that that thing is crazy, dude. I don't know. I don't know about that. What that sex toy? Yeah, that seems like a lot, dude. <laughs> well, look how fucking like, proud he looks, dude. Yeah, he was so proud. What is what is that? What is that? 
extra sleeve. Is that the extra sleeve? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't even fucking see. Yeah, to the right. <laughs> if you can see to the right, that's the extra sleeve. Yeah, look how proud Joy is. In that yeah, he's stoked. Yeah. Good he's for his, him. He's got his radio cap on, dude. He's like, he's like, look at it, dude. Yeah. And it, it. people are just like. <laughs> <laughs> well, and it has different voices too. Like one of them's like a robot. <laughs> one of them's like, like. <laughs> Just like you fucking like that, you bitch. <laughs> That's so funny, dude. Yeah, and then I saw the dildo that he broke off in his ass. Oh, no, that's a real thing? Oh, no, that's a real thing. Yeah, it's a real thing. <laughs> we kept it, too. It, it, does it still turn on? No, but it looks like it, it looks like a dick that got, like, broke. Like, it's like, it looks like a broken limb, but it's a dick. It's funny, because I heard that story before, but I always thought it was, like, he was just fucking around. He was fucking around. <laughs> Apparently he had a like one of those dildos break in his ass and then it was like it started doing this kind of thing because it was broken. <laughs> and then he said you could see his belly and it looked like alien all like <laughs> <laughs> That's what I mean. Like that's dangerous. <laughs> that is like dangerous. imagine like that's like how you Troy would be found. Just like there in his house and it's all like <laughs> like poking through his rigor mortis ass, yeah, <laughs> and then just as it just peeks through, <laughs> just uh, super dead. Yeah, that's pretty gnarly. Does <sighs> yeah. that disappoint you, Fred? <laughs> These are the people that we associate ourselves with. No, you guys. I I I reap what I sow. <laughs> uh, Marty's the only good boy out of all of us here, dude. Yeah, yeah. Marty's conservative. I know, conservative. dude. Yeah, dude. Dude, <laughs> he's not only a good boy; he's one proud boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Dude, Mar Marty's favorite date is January sixth. <laughs> we had this conversation. Yeah, I know, but I, I just, I'm just trying to get the point across that you were there. I was there. You were there. What was your What was your favorite part about storming the Capitol? Um, all the, uh, titties. I mean, there's a lot of dudes there, so. <coughs> yeah, man titties. Okay. Boy tits. <laughs> Boy tits. <laughs> That's going to the soundboard, too. <laughs> Just, <coughs> Boy, Boy tits. tits. <laughs> so, uh, Fred, what would, uh, what would your hockey name be? My hockey name? Like your last name. Like, everyone's name is, like, changed. It's like changed. Like, would it be Stewie? Yeah. Probably Stewie. Like, oi, Stewie. What are you doing there, bud? Be like, come on, fucking Stewie. Get it together. Yeah. Now I'm like, fuck you, bud. I'm chucking out here fucking dying, but Chuck's over there fucking jerking off in the penalty box. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we just get... <laughs> I, would, I would be getting... The ref's like, five more minutes, and you're like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be getting penal... I'd be getting pens just to sit in there, and <laughs> I'd be getting fights just to get a five-minute penalty to jack off. It, it would be it'd be me getting into fights, and then it'd be Marty like, like just like very trying to like skate and slipping and then like it would just be it'd be like like a ref giving a penalty to Chuck and they'd be just pulled in his pants be like oh you wanted to just fuck me then you to fuck me then and just like that's it you're out of here Hager. get the fuck out of here I I think uh, fuck, man slam the fucking boards dude. well Marty could Marty could get a minor penalty and fucking get a a fapping because apparently he can come real quick. So he can do it in two minutes, right? Uh, or less if I if I am really concentrated. Well, you had two minutes to whack <laughs> off. In I the think penalty that'd box. probably be the worst place to jack off, dude. Because yeah. like all, all people would be beating on the boards, dude. Be like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, shut up, dude. Yeah, but if I just got in a fight, you He's know, not gonna come. <laughs> it's like fuck you. I don't think I could ever jerk off in front of somebody. You don't think so? Well, it, unless it was like you know a partner or something, but like. In front of somebody else, like at a like, at like a somebody that game? I don't know, you can jack off in the penalty box, like no, like you get there. I mean, you're a hockey. Do you think you could? At that point, you're a hockey player. There's birds in the crowd. They would probably be stoked. 
birds in the crowd. Actual, <laughs> actual physical birds. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I'd do like the typical thing where I'd get in the penalty box and I'd be like. <laughs> Just fucking mad, dude. Mad jacking. Yeah. <laughs> that mad J-O. Then I'd shoot it onto the ice. <laughs> Five more minutes for misconduct. <laughs> like, fuck you, dude. I'll, I'll do it again. <laughs> what would Marty's hockey name be? Was, it's got to be something with his last name. Cowie. Cowick. Cow dick. Probably, probably Wick. Wick, Wicky Wicker. <laughs> yeah, Wicky would probably be good. Hey, Wicky, get over here, bud. Cow, what, what Cowie. Cowsy. Cowsies. Hey, cow, uh, it might be Cowsy. Yeah, Cowsy's cow pretty. Cowsy. Yeah, come what here, Cowsy. Come on now. Cliffsy. 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 Clifford. I can see them saying Clifford. Clifford would be good, dude. I de definitely Fred would be Stewie. For sure, they would call him Stewie. They'd be like, oh, fucking Stewie. Fucking Stewie's over there. He's always, you know, just putting around the fucking ice, never, never passing the puck, and, you know, he's just being a real scumbag, but, you know. He's not even a good player. I don't know if we keep him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Marty would be cower. Do you, do you do you guys think that if we got you guys pads, do you think you guys would be able to stop, like and catch uh, a goal? Yeah, or a, a puck? Catch a puck? Yeah, coming at you full think, full full force. Uh, well, depending on who's shooting it. I mean, I could stop it, but it wouldn't. It, it would hurt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. No. No, not necessarily. I bet you, like, if it was, like, an NHL dude, you could probably still think you're right in front of it, and they would get it in there. Oh, well, I'm not saying that, like, <coughs> I, yeah, I'd probably, like, because they're very accurate, you know, with their shots, mm -hmm. but, like, I'm saying my body would stop a puck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so maybe we'll have to do, we'll have to get a, one of our homies who plays hockey uh, that we know, me and Marty knows, and we'll have to go down to the ice rink and film a video yeah. to rent it out for like a couple hours and just be like, all right, we're going to, we're going to do a dock on the ice plus do, do a segment where we have to go and catch fucking. It's 25 bucks a person. Yeah. To go do fucking shoot pucks. Oh, I'm saying like rent it out. I'm saying like just like rent it out for like an hour yeah. or two, and then just be like, all right, we're gonna fucking uh, shoot pucks on Marty. Where yeah. is this at? We're gonna in Vancouver. Vancouver. Or on the Cove. Well, there's one in Vancouver. There's one in Sherwood. And there's one in Beaverton. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it'd be it'd be pretty. I think it would fucking hurt. <laughs> I think it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. Yeah, but um, it's all, dude, for the, it's all for the namesake of comedy, dude. dude Mar I'm Marty a, said he'll do anything for comedy. Yeah, he did. Yeah, and then he's then he immediately backs out for most of it. I will do it, and I bet you I'll catch some pucks. I probably can't even. I've never even put ice skates on in my life. Have you rollerbladed? Really? I have rollerbladed a lot. It's kind of like rollerblading, except it's on ice. And it's more like rollerblading than it is like roller skating. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I was. I never wore no pussy skates. Stopping is different. Because you just have to... Well, yeah, if you can skate a little bit. I feel like I could stop. You can stop. hockey stop. I feel like I could stop. That'd so be the I'm one gonna thing I can do. It's been a bat. long time. Since so this is my goal right here. Hey, this is my goal right here. I'm going to play hockey in the fall. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So there's actually a program at the Sherwood... Or not Sherwood, at the Vancouver... Ice rink. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our buddy uh, whoa, whoa, Connor plays wait, hockey in it. McDavid? No. Uh, I So there's a program that's not – so there is, like, the beer league hockey, right? Yeah. yeah. And that's probably what your buddy plays. Yeah. Uh, there is a program to go over the fundamentals of hockey, and it's like – 300 bucks and it's like it's like six weeks like once a week and you go over kind of just like the fundamentals of of gameplay yeah and stuff <laughs> would you just be the only adult in there because it's all gonna be <laughs> no, kids no 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 it's all ages it's all or yeah it's all ages yeah dude that but means it's it, gonna be it, literally it, children and then you but it's no 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 i've looked into it <laughs> you're gonna I've, get you shit I've kicked in by a nine-year-old <laughs> he's gonna beat the fuck out of you that's dude. fine that's fine <laughs> No, I looked into it, and it's they say uh, anyone that wants to come play, like learn how to play. So I don't give a shit. Go do it. 
It's in the fall. You fucking won't, dude. No, the so the season starts in the fall. Oh, okay. So that then... hockey camp is like in the summertime. Oh. Are you gonna do it? Yeah, I think so. I gotta go buy some gear. Yeah. Yeah. I just bought a stick. You already oh, bought shit. a stick? Yeah. Okay. I might buy a couple sticks. You gonna yeah, go we're gonna buy, need to buy a couple uh, sticks. Some skates? I need to get some skates and then I need to get pads. Yeah. But what about tampons? I already got tampons. I <laughs> well, he's got to got he's got to fill them up with vodka and show it up his ass before he plays. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I'm gonna do it, and well, I think Travis stoked. is gonna do it too. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Just tell Travis not to bring any knives. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's what I asked him. I was like, "Can you even? Are you even allowed to wear ice skates by law? <laughs> we be fucking cutting people." <laughs> so you said you guys went to your buddy's beer league game. We yeah, did. yeah, and Mar- Marty's first ever hockey game. Yeah, was, was there? Were they? Were they allowed to fight? No, no, no. Can't fight beer league. They get. They'll get kicked out of the game. Yeah, but just the game, not the season. Yeah. That's why you fight in the parking lot after. No, you fight on the ice because, like, you can fight. You can fight on the ice, and it's just cordial afterwards. You know what I, I mean? I mean, they get aggressive. Like they definitely like check each other and yeah. shit and slam each other around, but. No, no, no physical altercations. Yeah. What did you think of the game, Marty? That was pretty cool. Yeah. Still got to go to a Winterhawks game, dude. Yeah, go to a Winterhawks. Yeah, I want to go to a game where it's more like professional players because I mean those guys are good. Connor's good, and there's a definitely a few people on both of the teams that you can tell that's obviously you know. Yeah. Uh, but, hockey players. Uh, but it's very much you know an amateur league. Yeah. Uh. So it would Hear be- that hockey players, Marty's calling you average. Oh, somehow below average. Maybe that's who we find An to amateur. shoot pucks at him. Amateur. Yeah. Which is if you're not semi pro or pro, you're amateur, right? So technically, the Winter Hawks are technically junior hockey. Yeah. Yeah, they're uh, WHL. They're WHL, which is not even minors. Yeah, they're juniors. They're young. They're hella young. Yeah, the, a lot of the they 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 usually get drafted by NHL teams that because they're like, oh, this guy, we'll grab this guy and then we'll throw him in since he's nineteen. So so the usually the people that are in the Winter Hawks League go to the AHL after, <laughs> which is the farm team or the affiliate teams of the NHL. Yeah. So it's like one step below the minors. Yeah. Is is the Winter Hawks. Winter Hawks? Yeah, but those dude, we went to a game. We went to that one game mm-hmm. when Fred was working I dur- during snowstorm. It's pissed. I know. I was sad for you. <laughs> it was I know you and Travis both wanted to go. Really Travis was. is another hockey homie. Oh, dude. Um, hockey Docs podcast fuck, coming out. That's what we should do instead. But <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, dude, those. Fucking kids get down, dude. Yeah. Like they're fucking aggressive. Cause I mean, that's the whole thing is they're all trying to make it to the NHL. Yeah. Like once you're in the NHL, there's almost like a sense of like preserving yourself. Yeah. A little bit where it's like those kids, they're just trying to like advance. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we should go to a Winterhawks game. I think it would open up a whole new world for Marty. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like sports. <laughs> it's better than sports. Like, there's the rest of the sports, and then there's hockey. Can you even see the puck? Yeah. From up there? Yeah. I mean, you can see the puck on TV. Yeah. I mean, I, I when we saw the Kraken play, I mean, we were up. We are up there. Have you ever played the NHL Xbox team? Yeah. That's I have fun. it now. It's pretty fun, actually. Yeah. We'll play you. You want to? Yeah, we'll do a dog gaming. Yeah. Who, what team would you be? Krakens. No, you. I can't be the Kraken if I'm the Kraken. Well, that's too late, dude. I'm the I Kraken. Already, I already called it. Fuck that. I'll be the Pacific All Stars. Okay. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Then I'll. <laughs> that's fucked. That's fucked up, dude. <laughs> it's like when we were playing that, and it was like you chose your. You chose like Arizona, and I'm like, yeah, I'll choose uh, the fucking All Stars of best of all time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because on the NHL game, you can be like classic rosters too. Yeah. Yeah. So you can be oh. like the '92 Penguins and shit, dude. I'm talking about video games, dude. I started playing the new Layers of Fear. Yeah, uh, dude. And if you guys played any, played any of that, dude, one of my favorite 
horror series of all time. It's super artsy. It's very fun. Like it's uh it's very trippy. It's like you'll you'll walk into a room, it's a dead end, you'll turn around, and then all of a sudden it's a grand hallway that just wasn't there before. It just fucks with your brain constantly. Everything you do has a consequence. It's very fun. But the new one came out, dude. I fucking highly recommend it. You guys will love it. Scary. Yeah, we hit Charles it's, it's, in, an, in an episode of the uh, HGO gaming, like where we'd play a scary. What are we game. doing, dude? We still have that last layers of fear or not layers of fear, last uh fucking Fears to Fathom. Fears to Fathom to record. Yeah. That'd be cool. Charles, do you like scary games? I do. I don't get to play video games like I would like to. Yeah. Like, out of the things I like to do, that's usually the thing that I have to, like, sacrifice. Yeah. Kind of yeah. like with Marty, how he has to sacrifice music to <laughs> do video games. Oh, I thought, I thought you could say, like, being skinny to do anything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, like if this was Marty's <laughs> tier of things, like video games is here, uh, music is here, and then being skinny is maybe a little bit above that. <laughs> That's why I lost some weight last year, and we didn't finish the record last year. Well, I mean, it, it's a new year. You guys going to go into weight loss challenge? You probably should, but... Uh, well, if I'm going to do that, if I'm going to play hockey, then yeah. yeah. I think if I would start playing hockey, then it's just naturally going to happen. Yeah. You can buy a big helmet, dude. Yeah. Get a big head. I do got a big head. <laughs> yeah. You're going to buy some big pads, bro. <laughs> yeah. You got a big belly. Oh, uh, you don't need it. There's no belly pad. I'm not going to play goal. Just have pads and your belly's sticking out. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got shoulder pads. <laughs> now, that's another thing that is nice about hockey because I've seen some of those beer leaguers and they do, they're, you know, pretty stacked. They're like me, you know. Uh, but the good thing about hockey is your jersey is fucking loose. Yeah. So you can, like, kind of have a gut and hide behind your giant ass jersey you're wearing you finally pick up a jersey uh kraken jersey yeah. uh i have one in the mail nice there you go it's, dude so <laughs> did, did you get like an actual like with the name on it or did you just get like a standard one like just with the logo i believe it's beneers beneers i got beaners <laughs> <laughs> you can say beaners. that he's allowed to say Maddie that. beaners yeah. his name is maddie beaners but it looks like beaners <laughs> um but it's the winter classic jersey which are on sale. Check it out. Get one for 55 bucks. So I bought Sandra a jersey for Christmas, and it was $200. Yeah, damn. Yeah. They're expensive. Sandra likes hockey? After that Kraken? That's what I mean. Like, if you went... I bet you if you went to a Kraken game, you would be fucking on fire after you went. Yeah. Because it's a whole different... Like, have you even ever been to, like, a pro sports game? No. It's a whole different vibe. Like, like... Like, going from watching that beer league hockey game you watched to watching the Winter Hawks is, like, the same jump as it is watching the Winter Hawks and the Kraken. Yeah. yeah. It's, like, it's a whole thing. Like, they fucking, it's like a production. Like, yeah. when they come out on the ice, they, like, put, like, fucking, the like, graphics, 3D yeah. graphics on the ice when they're, like, coming out. And, like, in Seattle, it's, like... Like it's like the Kraken's tentacles breaking through the ice. It was all. <laughs> they're like release the Kraken, and then the Kraken skate on the ice. But dude, it's just when they fucking score. Like you're watching the game; it's all intense. And then when fucking Seattle scores, dude, yeah. that place erupts. Yeah. Like think of the the biggest crowd you've been to. Think of the like like arena. At like a concert, mm -hmm. but even more like <sighs> that. That's why like I want to go see a UFC fight in person. Yeah. I want to go see. Oh, jo I want to see John Jones fight in person. That'd be fun because I fucking love John Jones, and I just want to. I just want to be there when he just ultimately kills somebody in the ring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you want to talk about you talking about uh, Beneers and his fun last name? Um, did you hear about the West Virginia University lineman? Uh, -uh. uh, go and look it up on your phone. West Virginia University lineman who just got uh, added to the roster, WVU lineman. Um, he's his first name is Noah. Just wanted you guys to just take a look uh, at this guy's name. And for the listeners at home, uh, I recommend you do the same while they they do it right now. Um, he uh, he no, his name is not lineman. W W V U. 
<laughs> just type in like new recruit. His first name is Noah. Let's see. <laughs> it's like watching an old person fucking. Still trying to find it. You guys are fucking <laughs> autistic. I put in WV lineman new recruit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Here it is. There you go. Look at this guy's last name, Charles. <laughs> yeah, you find yeah, it. You find it. it? Yeah. yeah, dude. <laughs> That's pretty tight. Is he black? Uh, no. Whoa. <laughs> dude can't even say his own last name. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how you do it in his silence. <laughs> and I think it, I'm too scared to even try. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is he what? What ethnicity is he? He's a white guy. He's a white guy. Yeah. <laughs> how does he pronounce his last? Uh, I don't know. I didn't look it up. <laughs> I'll find some videos. It's kind of too afraid, dude. <laughs> Uh, you know that dude had to become an athlete because if he was like a pussy, he would have got his ass whooped his whole yeah. life. <laughs> dude, I, I hope to God that guy goes pro, dude, because I'm buying that jersey. <laughs> Be like, he's my favorite, dude. What do you mean? He got two touchdowns this season. <laughs> they, they just forgot a letter on the back, dude. Fred, have you been? Dan, what? Have you been to multiple? Have you been to pro sporting events? I have. What what sports? Um, been to Blazers games. Okay, that's a that's a given. Uh, been to a lot of motocross. Yeah, that's those. Those are really fun. I'm trying to remember, I'd go to motocross. Did you see? Motocross. Uh, have you been to a pro baseball game? I have been to a couple of pro baseball games. The Mariners. Yes. Yeah, that was back when Ichiro was still in the still in the Mariners. Yeah, and I was uh, I was in his section, and it was just after just he he broke that uh, home run record. Dope. And I was like, it's fucking Ichiro, dude. He looks exactly the same, dude. You go to an NFL game? No, I haven't been to an NFL game, surprisingly. Have you been to an NHL game? I haven't. Damn. I know. So I, the only sport I haven't seen is a, a NFL. I've never seen a football game. Then that's what we're doing next season. They're so expensive. Yeah. Have you ever seen a woman's basketball? That's not <laughs> pro sports. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't count. That's... It's crazy, dude. Yeah. <laughs> imagine, imagine even asking the question. Um, <laughs> no, dude. Um, but like, I when uh when Vegas was in their the Stanley Cup last year, yeah. I I had the day off, and I was like, kind of want to go to Vegas. Just just go fly down to Vegas because if they win, that would have been crazy. If they win, it's gonna be fucking anarchy. Yeah. And it was. <laughs> so I'm kind of glad I didn't. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I'm sure those tickets were No, like, dude. And like no, I'm saying no cuz outside, bro, they had big oh, ass yeah, yeah, yeah. LED screens like, yeah. like like the fucking like 400 inch screens. Yeah. And it was broadcasting live direct. Oh yeah, no, it was insane. And but I, I mean, like, how oh. much do you think like the like up in the upper decks for was it game 7? Did uh, Vegas win? Yeah. They won the, this last year. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe think maybe 6. Game six. Game six. Um, Might have been seven. Yeah, because it's like baseball. They they have like it's like a seven game series. Um, yeah, so they they are the they are the champions at this point. But this year, I think it's gonna be it's probably gonna be either Edmonton or Vancouver. <sighs> oh, but God, it's not Vancouver anyway. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're kicking. They're pretty good. <laughs> Welcome to sports talk for the doc. Pop. Yeah. Yeah, but this NFL game. Let's get back to you talking God. about you shitting your pants. Yeah. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I've been glad. That's why I've been glad I've been uh, on this hockey kick because it is something else. Like yeah. it's only been music and jerking off a, a for the last twenty for years. You. Yeah, maybe get a tism, Marty. A tism. Maybe get a tism. It's good. It's healthy. You ever been to a drag racing event, Charles? I've been to drag racing. Of course, events. of course, yeah. So what was cool when I was a kid in Vegas? We would get a lot of scrimmage games mm -hmm. by almost every pro sports team. Some football. Not, we never got a football game. But every year, once or twice a year, they would have the Dodgers play in Vegas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So me and my stepdad would go see like the Dodgers versus the Diamondbacks or the Dodgers versus the uh, Angels because we had like a minor league baseball team there. Mm -hmm. And then once or twice a year, they would have, like, a scrimmage hockey game, and it would always be, like, the Kings versus the Coyotes. Um, 
And then they did have like drag racing and NASCAR and shit. Mm -hmm. And of course, college sports in Vegas. Did you ever go to NASCAR? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Of course. Look How at him. that? It was a lot of fun. He's built like he likes NASCAR. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I went, so I would go to NASCAR with my dad. My dad was pretty into NASCAR. <laughs> He's got them Dell Earnhardt arms. Yeah. <laughs> Dell Earnhardt's. <laughs> they're like skeletons? They're like oh. short, like he <laughs> fucking rear ended somebody. <laughs> <laughs> But I saw NASCAR. <laughs> I've seen NASCAR in Phoenix. I've seen it in Vegas, and I've seen it in Indianapolis. Damn, with the Indy, huh? Well, because Indianapolis Motor Speedway is only like two hours away from my grandparents' house in Cincinnati. So one year we went to the Brickyard and saw that, which was pretty cool. And then Vegas has like one of the dopest like. Motorplexes with yeah. it has a NASCAR track, it has a drag racing strip, and then it has a dirt track, and then a smaller like NASCAR track. Mm -hmm. So it's like five race tracks in one facility, and it's huge. That's where they have like the like electric Daisy Carnival now, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. giant ass fucking EDM show is there at the fucking. It's so weird because it's like that's got to be like the most like freaky liberal sex gayness festival and then like a month later they have fucking nascar there where it's just like trump supporters <laughs> like gay bashers so, so, so marty's people yeah yeah it's like okay it's like it's like marty's people one week and then troy's people the next week. <laughs> it's so like one day uh, uh, this, when this podcast yeah. grows you know and everybody is going to really think that i'm republican <laughs> yeah dude you are and they're going to be like hell yeah there's a little bit for everybody in your podcast <laughs> <laughs> marty is a rogue dude. He, he may seem like he's doing a bit dude he is dude he fucking dude if you do you think that he hates you dude he does i bleed red white and blue but mostly <laughs> white <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, that's fucking, it's crazy, dude. That's you know, I've, I've seen your fucking back to blue tattoo, dude. You got it underneath your shirt, dude. <laughs> it's a, it's this tramp it's stamp. Tramp stamp. Yeah, yeah, dude. No, his tramp stamp is two little lightning bolts on the back, dude. That's what it's <laughs> SS. No, he's an electrician, dude. Oh, yeah. Well, he was gonna be. <laughs> And then he gave up, dude. And then he met uh, racist people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Marty's one of the only people I racist know. people <laughs> that are electricians? <laughs> Surprise. Racist electricians? Marty's one of the only people I know that has both a social security card and an SS card. <laughs> dude, dude this is going to be a wild fucking turn. Uh, speaking of being racist, uh, <laughs> hold on. Time out. Uh, I, I don't know if I, I've only got, I know I got to talk about it on the doc, but um, we're launching a D and D campaign, right? And if depending on how it goes and stuff like that, it might turn into a show, perhaps when we do a homebrew, do a little fun little D and D campaign, get the homies together, make it a fun little event. But one of the characters, I've been making NPCs to add to the campaign, and one of the characters is this cute little, you know, you know, do you ever play D and D? No, um, you familiar with D and D? I know what it is. Okay. He's watched Stranger Things. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I've yeah. seen Stranger Things. Yeah. The, speaking of which, you Taylor got a the what's that fucking what's that uh that heavy metal guy that's in the latest season? Eddie. Eddie. Taylor got a thing signed by him. Nice. She's that's a little meet cool. and greet with that guy. Oh yeah. Yeah. He was, seems like a really cool dude. I should have met Keith David. Fuck, dude. I'm so mad. Anyway, but one of the characters I'm making I, I've made is a little NPC to interject in the campaign. Who's a little slime pile named Gibbles the Slime. He's a cute little guy. Goes around, he's like, I'm Gibbles the Slime. Just a cute little guy. But he has a compulsive drinking habit. And whenever the party gets him drunk, he gets really racist. <laughs> <laughs> so he'll be like, be like, come on, Gibbles, let's get you some liquor. And he'll be like, I don't think that's a good idea, guys. I don't think that's a good idea. They pour a shot to him, and he's like, sick and tired of all these fucking orcs coming into my village. <laughs> <laughs> So he's he's racist towards the other Yeah, towards the party members. Yeah, dude. <laughs> so they're gonna be like, whoa, dude, time out. And he's like, sick, tired of all his fucking wood elves coming into my village. Kid into my shit. It's funny, our buddy Nick is gonna be part part of the campaign, but you know, he was asking me what kind of character I'm gonna be, which I told him, you know, maybe uh because <clears throat> you make whatever character you want. 
And I said dark elf, and he's like, you should just be a, <laughs> you should just be a white elf, but with a black face. <laughs> dude, that's me, Charles' character, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. Black uh, face, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that photo's out there somewhere, dude. We'll find it. I know, I know it is, dude. <laughs> Charles didn't do blackface, probably. He did black no, portfolio. <laughs> well, he's, yeah, he has a whole portfolio, portfolio of him being blackface. Uh, that's fucking awesome, dude. That picture that you made, Charles Black on the cover, <laughs> black portfolio is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, do you guys like that, dude? Yeah, yeah. I got to start making some stuff, dude. I was gonna make the, I got to make a bumper sticker saying, "I would hate it if you're my dad." <laughs> Dude, I just <laughs> that's one of the one of the funniest funniest doc clips to ever exist, dude. Did, did he really hurt your feelings? No. Yeah. I don't give a shit. Yeah, dude. He I don't give a shit what that dude says. Dude, he, <laughs> he still yeah. lives in Farmington. Yeah. I can Anyone tell. that still lives in Farmington don't say shit to me. Yeah. Yeah, dude. That's how you know it's got under his skin, dude. His very <laughs> fat, dense skin, dude. Bro, I got T Rex skin, bro. It's thick. <laughs> Also, he's got that. Well, T Rex is involved in the chickens, dude. I think you'd be needing too much chicken skin to begin with, dude. Sticks. Look at you, dude. Yeah, I know. Look at me. Boys I, to men. I had a I had a fun thought the other day where I want to do for like my like for my birthday or something like that. Do a, a roast. Get all the homies do a little roast. I think I've thought about doing a roast where we roast Troy. Oh, that because he's so- such a cocksuck. <laughs> like he deserves. <laughs> A night of us just shitting on it. A hundred percent. If anyone deserves it, because like, like roasts, mm-hmm. everyone kind of says one thing or about everyone that's roasting, right? Yeah. yeah. It's like, ah, Marty's fucking Republican and fat, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, but then you go hard in on fucking Troy, and I think he really deserves that. Yeah. I say maybe that should be the Troy episode where we. We will invite Drew and fucking Travis to like <laughs> fucking just go in on him. We're gonna have to like move the green screen over and set up a bunch of seating and then just have everybody can just hold they can hold the mic individually at a time. Yeah. That'd be great. Dude. Or just set it up in like a different corner and then have yeah. that be a different seating. I think I I think we can almost do the seating arrangement that we had with uh The Farmington Boys. Farmington Boys. Yeah. Cause what? Troy, Travis, Andrew. Yeah. That's only adding three. Yeah. Yeah. Be great, dude. And maybe you and Marty could sit right here. (laughs) And then we'll put like Troy in the middle. Oh, yeah. And then we just roast him. We just fucking go hard on him. And I'll tell everyone to like, like come up with their own 10 minute bit or whatever of just talking shit about Troy. (laughs) Cause he he needs it, man. He he needs to be put down. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. Dude. I can't think. All my friends are are pretty bad about being shit talking and skip scaps and scallywags. Skip scaps and scallywags, yeah. Uh, where but he's just he's gone too far. <laughs> he needs to be like put down. <laughs> Maybe we can even phone in some people too to chime in. Can yeah. you do Troy's laugh? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, dude. <laughs> you gotta switch. You gotta switch your cam. Uh, I don't know, dude. <laughs> <laughs> if you were to do, a- I have been working. <laughs> that's all. That's a different story. He's <laughs> swiping on Tinder. Yeah, Drew got mad at Troy on tour, and he's all. Well, I just been moving the gear the entire time, huh? And you've just <laughs> been trying to hook up with girls, and he's like, I've been bringing out people out to shows i have been working and he was actively swiping when he said that (laughs) (laughs) just no not even looking just swiping i have been working this is working that's so funny dude i i remember back in the day being on tinder and suicide swiping dude you just suicide swipe just go 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 then you just wait every once in a while you like swipe like a like a trans man you know trans trans woman. woman whatever dude and it's like just the most obvious and you're like oh no i can't go back <laughs> yeah see that's the republican values coming back out dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah see if you were a little more conservative you might be or a little more liberal you might be like 
maybe this person has a great personality. Yeah, dude. <laughs> like, like, hey, maybe maybe if we don't date, dude, we can maybe be really good friends, dude. Yeah. Go to a bar, yeah, hang out, play some pool. But Marty's yeah. like, I don't associate with their kind. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Troy found himself a hermaphy. A hermaphy? A hermaphrodite. How does Someone that happen? Someone with both parts. That's... That's awesome. They sent they sent pictures. <laughs> they said pictures. Should I have pictures? Uh how come he hasn't shared the pictures? Well, I might <laughs> I might have said too much. <laughs> <laughs> um we could probably If you make it this far into the podcast, just wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This dude. might this might be what we do on the next podcast. Yeah. Never so, know, dude. Mathies, bro? Yeah, because he told us he was he was very excited. He's like, she has both pots. <laughs> I'll, I'll, now I just want to know so much. Yeah, well that 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 could be our our uh, that could be my uh, research to do this week. Be yeah, like, yeah, Troy, tell me everything you know. Show me pictures. Give me evidence. I need <laughs> evidence. I'm gonna corbell that shit. We, we should get Troy on next week. We yeah, can try, see but if we can. Dude, whenever I think of Roast, dude, I just think of the Shane Gillis roast that he did, where he just goes like, he's like, you look like the member of Van Halen. Yeah, the van. And I just, <laughs> like, I just, it's so good, dude. Look like a fucking van, dude. Love that bit, dude. It's fantastic. Oh, man. Yeah. I think a roast would be ideal. Yeah. Yeah. They'd be great, dude. I think, I think it needs to happen. I think maybe... That could be like a thing too. Like I think the first one should be Troy, because mm-hmm. he is such a cocksuck. But maybe the next one in a few months could be like me or something. Yeah, dude. I'm probably the next cocksuck, <laughs> cocksuckiest one. <laughs> yeah, dude. I would like you, it. Would you say so, Marty? Yeah, you're a cocksuck. For <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. But not as you much need, as Troy. You need to go down. Yeah, let me bring it down a couple notches, dude. But I think Troy needs to go down first. Unlike your and, belt, dude. And then it goes, weird. and then it goes Fred after. Well, unlike Charles' belt, he, we got to bring him down a couple notches, dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. See, dude, more to firing all cylinders, dude. Who else would be a fun roast? Fred would be a fun roast. Right, we did roast Fred on the. Yeah, we yeah. didn't spend a whole episode dedicated to it. Though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. I feel like every episode is kind of like a Marty roast. Yeah, you guys roast me every episode. Well, yeah, it's because that's all you tend to eat is roast. <laughs> that's how you get a body like that. <laughs> Look at this. This should just be called the roast cam. <laughs> yeah, dude. Do you like roast? Or more Marty? like, or I more, don't more like roast. Or more like, what? Ha- I had, like the vegetables. More like, ha- okay. And more like, I had too much roast cam, dude. Look at this guy, dude. Yeah. Come like, on. you don't like roast God. beef? Uh, my, like the, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of meats. My, my favorite, what? my, yeah. that's crazy. My favorite thing to do whenever I roast Marty is I, I roast him with something very, I usually call him fat in some unique way. And then I usually say something along the lines of, sorry, man, that was low hanging fruit, the kind of fruit that you don't eat. And then it just continues on, dude. <laughs> it's just, it's just one of my favorites, dude. <laughs> so Marty just said he's a fan of, of not a fan of meats. Uh, there, well, I do like meats, but like, I don't like. Like I'm not a fan of steak. What? 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 Um, He's just a fan of carbs. Oh, so we're just this is li- the carb cam. So, so we're just the carb cam. So we're just lying on the podcast now. Is that what we're doing? No, really, I don't like steak, and I don't like like roast, like a big chunk of meat roast. I don't like that either. It's crazy. I can't believe you're lying on camera. I right can't now. believe you're a Republican. <laughs> yeah. That's 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 the the fucking tall tale sign of a of, of a liberal food cake, <laughs> not liking roasts and meats and steaks. Dude, I love steak. Yeah, it's okay. Dude, I, like steak is the like jerking off of food. Like it feels good. I dude, I don't know about. I don't know. Think that's necessarily true. I think I think queso is the jerking off of food. Well, yeah. I mean, queso is great too, but I don't know, dude. Queso is the jerking off of food, dude. Every time I have it, dude, I just wanted to start busting. <laughs> I just fucking start shooting goo. That's so crazy. How can you not like steak? Yeah. I don't like. I don't know. I don't. I I don't dislike it. I'm just not a big fan. Like I don't order steak when I go out places. <laughs> well, yeah, it's expensive. Well, it's not because of that. But just because. I, I don't think I can look at Marty the same. But here and there, when it like, I usually like have like a home cooked steak. 
But when I know it's like Sandra's like, we're making steak tonight. I'm like, fuck yeah, we're having steak, bro. Yeah. That's like the it's like the top tier of food, especially a home cooked meal. It's like steak night. You're like, fuck yeah. I like steak. some pork chops. Yeah, pork. Steak's I, way I like better chicken. for you than pork. Chicken's great too. All the meats. I'm like Arby's, bro. Meats. <laughs> well. Meat's yeah. good, dude. You look like you have a lot of Arby's. <laughs> <laughs> Roast. <laughs> dude, my favorite thing to do, yeah. there was this Brazilian grill in Albuquerque. Okay. Called Tuscanos. And literally, they would just walk around and have meats on a fucking hook and just fucking be like, and you, all you had to do is put your flag up, which means you want more. And they'd come by and you'd be like, do you want some of this? And I'd be like, fuck yeah. <laughs> and they'd just cut you off some meat. And d- dude, I had so much meat there. <laughs> Bro. Let's get the meat sweats. Meat on meat. Dude, I had the meat sweats. Dude, I had the meat faps, bro. One of the er- er- earlier episodes of HGO, I had some homies over. And while we did our episode, I actually was smoking a whole brisket. And then we got really drunk during the episode. And then we ate so much brisket that we got the meat sweats. Dude, I'm I, down. I've never felt so so good in my let's entire life. Let's do it. Let's do that again. And let's do that on like the roast night and Marty can fuck off and go eat a <laughs> fucking salad or whatever he eats. <laughs> dude, he's not going to eat a salad, dude. Look at him. We'll get him a s- couple sticks of celery and kick him <laughs> in the nuts. <laughs> 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 Bitch. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 dude, that's crazy, dude. Welcome to this week's episode of The Roast of Marty, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Well, once you just dropped that, you could have been cool. Like, you guys were talking shit about me way before that. <laughs> yeah, but this, <laughs> is a, this, is, this is a whole new can of worms, dude. Yeah. I don't like meat very much. My wife doesn't either. Well, that's cool. She's cool. You're not your wife. You're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, thanks so much for joining us on this week's episode of The Doc. Uh, follow us on the uh, Doc Com Pod, Doc Comedy Pod, something like that on Instagram. You can find the links in the bio. We be out there. Um, check out Haunts, Graves, and Omens and new MFA record coming out March 29th. Follow me on Instagram and I at The Haunted. Marty. Follow me at Ghetto Feather. <laughs> Follow me at Pornhub Charlie Haggard on Pornhub and OnlyFans and Fansly. Um, we don't have. We don't think we tried. We tried the last send off last week. It was pretty funny. Um, fucking stay wet, stay gooey, and stay eating meat, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude. Bye.